Hi, I'm Jill with the West Regional Branch of the Mobile Public Library, and today I want to tell you about the book Rebel by Bernard Cornwell. It's the first book in the Starbuck Buck Chronicles, uh, and this author is actually probably mo most well known by the for the Sharp books and the Last Kingdom books. The Last Kingdom has actually got a TV series on Netflix right now, but the Starbuck Chronicles are actually one of my favorites of his various series. It's set during the American Civil War and Bernard Cornwell always very in-depth researches the, the books he writes. So it's got a lot of really good, solid historical fact in it. So if you're kind of interested in this American Civil War, uh, which I know a lot of people in this area are, it is, you know, accurate to, you know, the different battles and how they did things and all that kind of stuff. But the thing that's really interesting about it that makes it very different from most Civil War epics is the fact that it is written by a uh, English author. So it gives him a very different kind of perspective on the whole thing. Uh, and it, that kind of shows in the setup of the character. The main character of the Starbuck Chronicles is Nathaniel Starbuck. And he's actually from the North. He's, I can't remember exactly what state he's from, but he is the son of an abolitionist preacher from up North somewhere. And he actually ends up joining the Confederacy, mostly despite his father, because his abolitionist father of preacher is, basically a terrible parent and so he he joins the confederacy to get back at him uh, and also because you know his best friend who is a southerner um, the best friend's father treats him very well much better than his own father ever did so that's how he gets all hooked up with the confederacy and there's four books in the series so far and i really hope bernard cornwell one day gets back to it but um, since he had so much success first with the Sharp books and then with the Last Kingdom books, he's, you know, been making, writing the money makers first. Those get first priority, so he's not gotten back to the Starbuck Chronicles, but I very much wish he did because I really enjoyed the books. If you like um, historical dramas, uh, those military historical books, like Bernard Cornwell is so well known for, you would definitely like the Starbuck Chronicles. Um, and if you're interested in Civil War type stuff, I'd also say give it a try because that whole, you know, the author not having a horse in this race um, and him being like totally outside the whole, you know, mythos of the Confederacy, um, having that perspective uh, really makes the books uh, much more interesting than a lot of these kinds of epics uh, and I think it um, it's actually really the kind of strength of the books the, the perspective of them so uh, I just I definitely say give that a shot the the books are all on hoopla so you can check them out digitally all right now let's see for a food item um, one thing that I, that's like a go-to that I always do is if I'm baking a potato, I always throw a second one in the oven, an extra baked potato, and then the next day I'll chop it up and fry it. One time years ago, um, I, was going, I was going to this diner where they had the best breakfast potatoes. There's just something about them. They are just so tasty, much better than hash browns, and I usually prefer hash browns to those like diced breakfast potatoes. So we asked the waitress, how do you get the potatoes to taste like this? She says, well, we fry the baked potatoes from last night. So ever since then, uh, whenever I bake a potato, I always throw an extra one in the oven and chop it up and fry it the next day. And it just, it does give your uh, fried potatoes a certain flavor to them. They're kind of a little bit crispy. Um, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but try that sometimes. If you are a fried potato fan, uh, give that a shot. You know, bake a potato and then fry it. Now, I usually do them in my air fryer but they are a little bit better if you deep fat fry them but they come out pretty good in the air fryer just coat them in some oil and pop them in the air fryer anyway leave me a comment down below let me know what you have been reading and eating lately and i'll see you next time bye bye